Hey guys, it's Veronica Winters, aka Bang Bang. I wanted to do a quick barter haul. Um, I really, oh, I clean house this year, you guys. I'm so thrilled with my stuff. Ah, so here are my bottle caps. Um, a few notable contenders. I designed that one. <laughs> and then that one has Stitch. Oh my gosh. Um, I just love all of them. That is a, an X-ray of Coyote Crotch's uh, pelvis. <laughs> Danger, and then oh, <laughs> caution tape carnival, always fun. Um, got this one at the glowing mass. That was incredible. Ten out of ten. Um, so yeah, let me move on. I'm gonna try and do it like in categories, right? Like so, like jewelry, and then art, and then patches, stickers, etc. So see how much I can get done before I run out of time. So first up is jewelry, um, I was able to barter for, there were a ton of round, like roving caravans of just barter carts and I was able to get some really cute stuff, um, but I just, I just love the, the hemp and the raw materials, I feel like that really suits my, um, my Volvolini inspired costume, so I'm going to be adding these guys as kind of a crown, the earrings, but I'm going to turn them into a crown and put them on my headdress or my headband that I use to hold my veil on. I think it'll help hold the veil on a little bit better if it's being stabbed with spikes. Um, <laughs> this I bartered for, um, I think I bartered for one of my resin pieces. Um, I had a few of my resin casts with the iron filings, which I still owe everybody a tutorial for it. I haven't forgotten. Um, but this is a guinea pig foot. So that is super fascinating. Um, got these from a little free pile on my way out. So I tra traded a couple caps for them. They're just little pins. And then um, a metal butterfly with a mounting with mounting screws. This definitely going on my headband. Um, it's so pretty. I can't stand it. And then this is a present for a friend. I hope she doesn't see this before I can give it for, to her. But she's getting married soon, if that's a hint. <laughs> and then this was gifted to me to go on the headband. I need to rust it out and make it gross. This is from the Tribe of the Bolt Cutters, who I love dearly. I love spending time with them. If I'm ever overstimulated, I can go there, have some sun tea and some jerky and dried peaches and hang out. And I just really love what they stand for. It's a, kind of a soft apocalypse vibe that I really, really like. And then this guy just clips on. He's fun. A fun little like little beady guy and then the tiniest fish and he's articulated I love 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 tiny tiny things like stuff like this is so fun to me and then these I believe I found these at the introvert barter so I had to make sure I left some good stuff because these are like vintage um vintage plastic just so cute they look like they have a little face like on Alice in Wonderland oh I love them Next up is the artwork, artwork that I bartered for. Um, this is a 3D printed skull that I'm so impressed by. The detail is incredible. I uh, bartered for him at the, uh, the Faceless Merchants area. Um, but isn't he cool? Oh, I love him. And then we've got, I have no idea what this was initially, but it reminds me of one of those like death's head flowers. And I'm probably going to end up putting them on a necklace or turning them into something creepy. This is from the hog camp. And he's so stinking cute. I can't stand it. I was like, it's a, uh, it's a magnet. I was like, please don't be offended if I just wear it every day for the rest of my life. Like, it's so cute. Then this guy was gifted to me. It's a cute little kitty head. I actually paid for this one. <laughs> Roadkill possum. He's so gross. He's a little missing a little foot. Ew. And then a bug. Just, you know, somebody just handed me a bug. And a 3D printed flying fuck. 
maybe it's resin. I think it's resin, but it's a uh, sure is something. <laughs> and then let's get into some random pieces. Like I got some woven cloth from the Rag Weavers. They are amazing. I'm so obsessed with the camp. And I planted the bolt cutter peaches. Delicious. Um, incense that I got for one cap. That was hell of a bargain. Good stuff. And then the Apox, I ran their Sesperil request and got this guy and the most amazing cocktail with Fernet. Fernet, it was just like herby and medicinal and incredible. I was obsessed. Obsessed. But it's hand sanitizer, so I'd be like, do you need some hand sanitizer? And people were like, no, I'm okay. And then I'd whip this out and they're like, well, I didn't know there was going to be drama. Yeah, give me some. So <laughs> that was pretty fun. Um, the Golden Snout, because I played hog balls. I did not win, but Danger was um, an incredibly good sport and just gave it to me and said that she has another one at home. So now I have my own Golden Snout. I will win next year, though. Mark my words. And then abundant sewing supplies. Yes, it says yes. So just little needles and threads. I'm gonna use that to put some patches on stuff later. Um, random wings. Just, just random wings. Gotta find something cool to put them on. Then I got Coyote Canyon dollar. Hell bank note. A couple of those. And then the Defenestrate Hordes, uh, or I'm sorry, the Degenerates Desert Dollars with the creepy monkey that um, died at Burning Man. That's a whole story that I didn't know about. Fascinating. Next we've got this cute little, I think it's an eraser, but it's just the cutest little bombshell. And then this was a present from my buddy Pig from the mechanic, the cosmetic mechanic who makes teeth brushes. Horrifying. I've wanted one of these for years. And then got my card from Slugga, who is incredible. He makes hundreds and hundreds of cards every year. So stinking cool. Useless statistics. I need to update that to say that I performed with the Sinners and Saints at the Wasted Saints because that was a very memorable experience. Uh, um, raccoon skull. Him ain't got no teeth. Giving me trypophobia. But got him from Coyote Crotch. And then, let's see, big ticket item. Whoop, big ticket item. My very own Vault Boy. That's exciting. I gotta make him a new little hand though. And then, this is one of my favorite things I got because I just, you know, how I just said I love tiny things. Let's see if I can get it open. Let me, one second, I need, I need a hand. And it's just a, the tiniest knife. Oh, he's so cute. Oh, he's so tiny. I might have, I might have Vault Boy holding him, like, I'm just excited. This is the tiniest knife in the whole world, I'm pretty sure. And then patches. Got my 2022-2023. Those were gifted to me also by Pig. Very sweet. And then my um, Vanguard patch. These I bartered for. This one I purchased from the Caution Tape Carnival. Or no, I'm sorry, the Last Chance Casino. Helps them keep the lights on. These, I went to a patch making class and um, traded my patches that I ended up making for these guys. So this is the one that I made. Uh, it's a little clown sperm. I don't know where this came from in my brain, but he's, he's, he's out in the world now and we can't take him back. So next up is stickers. So we've got fall, we got some fallout stickers. This one came from the Restorationists, I believe. 
just some good emotional support werewolf. Some good, good, friendly stickers. Lots of Fallout stickers. Oh, and another patch. This one I'm obsessed with. My little brother loves Stitch so much. It's going to be so fun to give him that. And then just assorted the parasites. Bolt cutters. I love the juxtaposition of the industrial and the soft. And then my buddy Jax. I'm so glad I got to spend more time with her this year. She is so sweet. I'm so obsessed. And then this was the sticker that I ended up bartering with that I made myself. Um, bracelet from um, bartering at the bolt cutters. This little guy, he's just doing his best. It looks like he's, it's his first day at work. He's just, he's just doing his best. And then a couple of vintage pieces, a little, little pickle pin. And this guy, who I love, he's like a little mascot for an electric company. And then, sushi. I don't know what this is from, but it has three spoons and I can always use more spoons. Got some scorpion salt. It was so tasty, I put it on everything. It's so good, I gotta figure out where to get more. Um, a little pin. The, oh, I think it's biting someone's finger. Oh, goodness. And then a little potted plant for my room. It's so gross and sticky. I love it. And then a couple of assorted bones. Glowing red roach. Glowing bottle. Glowing bug from the glowing mass. The Children of Adam Midnight Glowing Mass, which was... Honestly, the highlight of my trip, I was so, so, so stoked. I'm so obsessed with all things Children of Adam. I just like stuff that glows, really. And then I bartered for this. How steamy. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And this, which also looks like it's about to get a different kind of steamy. Ooh, ooh. And then this, that's got all of my paper barter inside of it. So, got some religious pamphlets, got my newspaper, got my Wasted Saints postcard, I'm gonna put that up on my wall. more money hidden throughout. My buddy Trombo on there. I want to perform with him so bad. Ooh, and this was from the Temple of Atomic Light from the Midnight Glowing Mass. Um, so that's, that's pretty much uh, most of it. There's still a few more things like makeup glasses <laughs> and they fold down so you can do your makeup. Like each lens is individually hinged. And I learned how to make yarn, and she let us keep our spinners. That was super cool. I love that glass. And I think that's about it. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope I catch you all out in the waste next year. Bye.